Praise the Lord, we meet somebody. Praise the Ancient of Days. Praise our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You are most welcome to part 15 of this expose on coronavirus. This part 15 is known as coronavirus. Best ray and true protection. That is the protection from being infected by the coronavirus. Before we continue, I would like us to commit into the hand of the Lord. Lord Jesus, we give you all the praise, we give you all the honor, we exalt your name. Lord, help us to understand that you are our protector, Lord. There is no protection without you, Lord Jesus, because you are our true protection. You are our true protector. You are the rare protector, Lord. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. The Lord Jesus Christ is the rare protector. Nobody can protect you from coronavirus or other viruses and deadly diseases. It is only the Lord Jesus Christ who can protect you because he's the rare protector. He's the best protector. He's the only protector. He is the true protector. Let's open our Bibles to Exodus 15 26. Exodus 15 26. And said, If thou will diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and will do that which is right in his sight, and will give ear to his commandment, and keep all his statutes, I will put none of the diseases upon thee, which I have brought upon the Egyptians. For I am the Lord that he led thee. So this scripture is telling us that if you obey the precepts of the Lord, if you keep all his commandments, none of the diseases in the world, such as the coronavirus, will come here daily. Because you are under the protection of the Most High God. You are under the protection of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. You are under the protection of the Lord God Almighty. So if you keep all his precepts, all his commandments, all his statutes, all his degrees, all his ordinances, all his commandments, all his laws, then he will protect you from every disease that is in the world, including this coronavirus. Deuteronomy 7.15 Deuteronomy 7 15. And the Lord will take away from thee all sicknesses and all, and will put none of the evil diseases of Egypt which thou knowest upon thee, but we lay them upon all them that hate thee. So the Lord will take away all sicknesses from you and none of the sicknesses in the world, such as coronavirus, will be a portion. Why? Because you are under God Almighty. You are under the protection of the Lord God Almighty. Psalm 18, 2-3. Psalm 18, 2-3. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength, in whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be safe from my enemies. The number one enemy is this coronavirus. It's sicknesses, diseases, all other viruses that are killing people. Those are your enemies. Those are your true enemies because they are killing people. They are killing people. So the Bible is telling us that the, the Lord, who is, who is the rock, is the true protector, the true deliverer. He will protect you in Jesus' name. He will protect you from the coronavirus pandemic. He will protect you from the coronavirus epidemic. In Jesus' name. Amen. Proverbs 18.10 The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run it into it and is safe. 
Run into the name of the Lord. Call upon his name. And it shall be well with you. In Jesus' name. You cannot be protected by the Lord if you do not know him. If you have not yet believed in him. You cannot call upon his name and be safe if you do not know him. Believe in him and you shall be safe. The Bible in Romans 10, 9 to 10 states that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thy heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be safe. For with the, with the heart man believeth unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Do so and you shall be safe in Jesus' mighty name. And please send to us an email using the email address worldwidebws at gmail.com. I, I, I repeat, send to us an email using the email address worldwidebws at gmail.com. And we shall pray for you. It is well in Jesus' name. See you in past 16, which is very important. That means past 16. See you soon in Jesus' name. Amen.